What's going on, Ann Crew? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. So for today's video for Monday, the first video of this new week, I'm gonna come at you guys with another video about my computer. It is a beast! It's so good. It's so good. It's such a good computer. Last week, I did a video about my new computer. I unboxed it and I talked a little bit about it, but I didn't really get into the specifics of the computer. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a full-on review of my new computer from CUK USA and talking about why I think it is the best budget computer for video editing in 2018. So the first thing you guys probably want to know about this computer is how much it costs. Whenever I watch some of these videos, the first thing I always want to know is how much does the thing actually cost? Well, my computer came out to be about $1,500. The two most important things for video editing is having a lot of RAM and a good processor. After Effects and Photoshop rely heavily on RAM, whereas programs like Premiere Pro and Lightroom rely a lot on having a good processor. So I went with two 16 gigabyte sticks of RAM that adds up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. And then I also went with an i7 8700K six core processor. And let me tell you, that is all you really need. When I had my old computer, I really could only run like one program at a time. I would literally spend half my time on the computer, force quitting other applications so I could make room for the one application I was running. The specs other than that would include a 500 gigabyte SSD. That's where I keep all the programs I use a lot, all the data I'm accessing on a regular basis. But I also got a terabyte of hard drive, just regular old hard drive. As far as the graphics card goes, this was less important to me because I'm not using this as much for gaming or anything like that. And programs like Premiere Pro and After Effects do not rely very heavily on having a good graphics card. But I didn't completely skimp out on the graphics card. I got what you'd probably call a low, high-end graphics card. I ended up going with an NVIDIA 1060 GTX 3 gigabyte graphics card and thus far it's worked really really well even for gaming and that's pretty much the specs. Alright guys, so I'm sure you are all anxious to see how well this computer actually performs. To show you guys how well this thing actually runs, I've conducted a series of four different tests to run with this computer and see how well it actually performs. And to contrast the performance of my new computer, I'm actually also going to be doing the same tests on my old Mac, which I used to be editing before I got my new computer. And we're going to be seeing how well these two computers actually stand against each other. The first test is to see how fast the computers can launch Premiere. The second is how fast they can launch Premiere with other programs running. The third is seeing which programs can apply warp stabilizer faster. And the final test is to compare the exporting speeds of these two computers. For test one, just launching Premiere, my computer was able to fully load Premiere in 9 seconds. My old computer took 25 seconds to do the same task. Now oftentimes, I need to be able to run multiple programs at once while I'm editing. I like to be able to run After Effects for the motion graphics in my videos, Photoshop for the thumbnail, Audition for the audio processing, and usually a web browser for just random different things. So the second test is seeing which computer can launch Premiere faster when other programs are running. For my new computer, I had After Effects, Photoshop, Lightroom, Audition, Spotify, Google Chrome, and Fortnite all running when I tried to launch Premiere. It took 10 seconds for Premiere to fully load with all of those other programs running. On my old computer, I only had After Effects and Photoshop running, and it took 2 minutes and 34 seconds to fully load. For the third test, I simply applied Warp Stabilizer in Premiere Pro. My new computer was able to process through it in 48 seconds, but my old computer was able to process through it in a minute and 21 seconds, so not a whole lot of difference there. And finally, for the last test, I just exported clips out of Premiere to see which went faster. I also added a linked composition with just a transition to give Premiere a little bit more to work with. My new computer exported the clip in 45 seconds, and my old computer exported it in 4 minutes and 54 seconds. So that's pretty much it guys, I think the results speak for themselves. This new computer does pretty much everything better, the only thing that was really even close was the test with the warp stabilizer. I hope you guys enjoyed this little segment and it gave you more insight into how this computer actually performs. Now a question I get a lot is, did you build the computer? And the answer is no, I actually didn't build the computer for a couple of different reasons. The first is because I don't have a lot of experience with computers. I do understand the gear, I do understand the parts, and I do understand what parts I would need for a good video editing computer, but as far as the actual physical process of building the computer, I don't know a lot. And that's why I went with Computer Upgrade King. Now these guys are the best. For someone like me who doesn't know a lot about computers, or even for someone who does, if you are looking to have a computer 
computer built for you, I cannot more strongly recommend these people. They walked me through every single step. I asked a bunch of stupid questions along the way, and they graciously answered all of those questions. Now, the guys at CUK USA actually filmed the process of them building the computer, which is super, super cool. So I'm going to play those clips for you guys now. Shout out to Marwan and everyone who helped building this computer and making this video happen. So I'm going to play the video of them building the computer for you guys right now. So yeah, isn't that awesome? I mean, it's so cool. I was so happy when I found out they were gonna film the process. It looks so sick, them actually building this computer. In this generation, and especially in the field of work that I'm interested in, you spend a lot of time on the computer and you're totally just sabotaging your workflow and everything about your life if your computer is slow, if you're not willing to invest in a new computer. This thing has literally changed my life and without it, I'd probably still not be posting on YouTube. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And once again, I cannot more strongly recommend you guys CUK USA. Once again, I'm not gonna nag you anymore with it, but if you want a new computer, definitely hit the link in the description and check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Video, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time get outside film a video make a difference and I'll see you guys later peace